Kevin Riappel with the City of Jacksonville. I'm joined by Sandy Wyrick Crane, and she's going to tell us a little bit about the New River Palooza and Riverwalk Festival that's happening this weekend. Thank you for having us. We're so excited for this festival. So and tell me about um, you know your role with this festival. What are you doing? Well, I'm the executive director, and we are co-partnering this year with the New River Foundation with Betty Sanders Seavey, who is executive director of the New River Foundation. And we thought, you know, we complement each other with the downtown and the beautiful New River. So we decided to partner again this year. We did last year. But this year we've introduced so many new uh, events to the festival with the water activities we're going to have. Bob Beck from Rena Cafe is going to bring his tour boat and we're going to have boat rides up and down and show everybody how beautiful our new river is. We're going to have stand-up paddle boarding demonstrations. We're going to have Jim Wheeler that's going to be here with the canoes and the kayaks. So we're just real excited. So there's a lot of water activities, but there also is music and food and, and some other things. Tell me about what else you guys are going on that's not in the water. Well, for the first time, we're having a pig cooking contest. And it's going to be, they're going to be cooking the pigs Friday night all night. We'll have a judging on Saturday. And then after that's over with, we're going to be selling the barbecue plates. Uh, for $7 a plate, barbecue, coleslaw, baked beans, rolls, and a drink. So that's, that's something new this year. And then we're having wonderful vendors. We have vendors from North Carolina, South Carolina. We have a lady coming from Virginia with different kinds of crafts. And it's like I told somebody the other day that it's not too early to start shopping for Christmas. I think it's 99 days away. So, you know, all, it'll be all kinds of different. And the food this year, oh my gosh. We're having, of course, hamburgers and hot dogs, which is a festival regular, but we're also having a lady doing West Coast tacos. We're having a uh, seafood restaurant from New Bern that's coming. We have a lady that's bringing ice cream, homemade ice cream, and she has a 1936 ice cream maker that she'll be making from that. So that'll be real interesting wow. to see that. And then we have, you know, all kinds of different snow cones. So we have a lot of food. We have wonderful. Uh, lemonade that's going to be here that's uh, we begged this man to come he has the best lemonade in the world so we're real excited for that and we have all kinds of different other food we have something for the children we have the petting zoo and ride the ponies and then we have all the bouncy stuff with the slides and everything and there's also a lot of live music right oh my gosh Friday night starting at 7 o'clock with uh, it we're going to have the entertainers from Charlotte Beach Music and we're real excited. I mean, they bring, they bring hundreds and hundreds, almost thousands of people to an event. They're really good. And then starting Saturday at 10 o'clock, we have the second Marine Division band that's coming that's going to open up the ceremony. So we're really excited about them. They are just awesome. And then from then on, it's, um, it's nonstop entertainment the whole day. And it wraps up from seven to nine on Saturday night with Freeway which is kind of a local band that is just really awesome. So we have entertainment, we have, um, we have the Forever Young line dancers, and we have one lady in a wheelchair who does line dancing. Wow. They're awesome. And then we have Jay Barnes who does Elvis impersonations. We have Celie Dove, which does island music. They're coming. We have Wild Honey. I think they're like a, a, a bluegrass or right. a folk I'm music sorry. group, yes. right? Yeah, and then we also have, you know, uh, other entertainers that are filling in during the day. So we are just really excited about this event. I really believe the weather's going to be nice. You know, we've had a wonderful summer here. It was a little warm, so daylight today, it makes you want to get out and go eat corn dogs and hot dogs and, and shaved ice and shop and, and see all the different vendors that we're going to have. So we're, we're just really excited. We're excited that we could partner with the New River Foundation and bring events to the river. Um, I don't think a lot of people know how beautiful our river is. And also, we will be having tours to the Pelletier House, uh, the remodeling, and it will be open Saturday. But you know, we we uh, really are thankful to have the city of Jacksonville, the Tourism Development Authority, that's been helping us fund this event. Onslow County, you know, has also helped us. And they know how important it is to bring people to this area and just show them how beautiful it is. I mean, it's awesome. You don't have to drive to lakes and oceans. Come right here to the New River. Well, thank you so much for joining me, Sandy. And don't forget to come out this weekend to the new, uh, is it the Riverwalk Festival in New River Palooza. It's going on Friday evening and all day Saturday. And there's just something for everybody. You won't want to miss it.